grab your beverage of choice, your Snuggie, curl up on the couch, and let's get into the story. I know there's people out there who are gonna come on here and be like, that's not real, it's all in your head, you're nuts. Well, let me tell you something, no matter what you say, it's not going to change my opinion. It's just based on my experiences with this. If you're not into that stuff, if you don't believe it, just please click off the video. This is not sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. However, Dunkin', if you're watching this, send me some free coffee. Let's throw it back six years. We were at a fall equinox party thing. My mom and I are just walking around, doing our thing. And she's like, hey, look at that guy over there. He's checking you out. All I see are these, like, middle-aged men. I was thinking, Mom, you're so gross. Like, stop. She's like, yeah, that guy up there by the tree, you know. And I'm just like, whatever. Like, kind of not really acknowledging it. The lady that was hosting this picnic-type deal, she actually is, like, a psychic. We're just going to call the, the psychic lady Barbara. I'm just going to protect names here. So we're sitting around this fire, just chilling, and there's this couple there, and they're, like, talking to us. They're really nice. They're like, oh, yeah, Barbara was just telling us how our son was, like, checking out your daughter. He thinks she's, like, really cute. And my mom's just sitting there like, yeah, I know, I know. So they were just, like, talking to us and, and very sweet, and they were just saying about how, like, their the, the year was, you know, rough for them. So the guy, Barbara, her husband, husband, we're gonna call him Bob, he comes out with a picture of this like good looking guy and he sits in next to me and he's like there he can sit next to you and I was like okay like I was kind of confused you know I'm like okay that's that's great. The guy that they were talking about they're like oh yeah they're like he was like he was such a good kid and he was good at this and blah blah blah. We're just talking to different people like friends of ours that were there. We were talking to that couple. Somebody said yeah you know they, they lost both of their sons, they're, you know their only sons and it's it's been a tough year and you know, they're finally coming out. My mom's like okay she's like I'm, I'm not understanding. She's like they were just talking about their son and how he was checking you out or something and yet their sons passed away. My mom was really confused. Finally, my mom goes up to Barbara and she's like, can you just like clear the air here? She's like, so I know you're talking to these people about their son and like how he was like checking out Nadine. People were telling me that their sons passed away, but I, I seen this young guy walking around. It looked like he was interacting with people. He was standing over there by the tree, like looking at Nadine, like what's going on? And her friend just looks at her and laughs and she's like, well, he's here, but he's not here. She's like, he just likes to hang out out there at the, the tree, you know. He did pass away last year, so did his brother. Both of us, and we're like, like mind blown. To this day, I'm still like, huh? My mom was like, but I seen him, like you and me, walking around here and him looking at you. And apparently he was on a different plane of existence, but he was there. If that wasn't weird enough, it gets a little bit weirder. So that night, my mom and I are driving home, and it's just her and I. My mom used to do this weird thing, and I'm sure your mom and dad did it too, where they get close to a stop sign and they turn the music down. So she turned it down, and all of a sudden we're stopped, and we hear this, yo, like a young guy in the back seat of the car. And both of us just look at each other and we're like, you heard that, right? And we're like, yeah, okay. Did like this dude follow us home? It gets weirder, guys. I have a queen size bed. I used to sleep in the middle of the bed, okay? Because that's where I felt the safest. I would sleep in the middle of my bed. I woke up. I was at the edge of my bed and all my pillows were scrunched up against me as if somebody pulled them over and was like laying there. I mean, I kind of look at that, like that's kind of like, okay, well maybe I did that myself, but it was just really weird like how all the pillows were like up, like somebody just put them there. I'd be at home by myself and I would hear footsteps and there was nobody home. I would check, I would look, there was no cars outside and I would just hear like somebody was walking around in my house and I'm like, okay. And then finally, just one day, it, like soon after, it just stopped. It's like a movie. I don't, I don't even know what to make of it. But that happened. That is a true story. I've lived to tell the tale. If you thought that was a heartwarming, wonderful ghost story, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous day. All right.